Good evening. 182 people want a chance to participate in the new Nashville Community Oversight Board. The board was approved by voters in November and will investigate allegations of police misconduct. New tonight at 10 News Channel 5's Emily Luxon is at the historic Metro Courthouse. And Emily, the question now is how to narrow down that list. Well, and that may be a tricky process because only 11 people will actually end up serving on this board. So city leaders know they have their work cut out for them to make sure the board is up and running by the end of January. So the list of nominees is number one, Charles Mormon Beard. Number two, from attorneys Virginia to pastors to Waffle House shooting hero James Shaw Jr. The number of people interested in serving on the community oversight board surged ahead of the nomination deadline. So last week we had 37 nominations. Today we have 180. Now Metro Council members have started the process of cutting that list down to 11 people. I think the logistics of this is going to be our main issue. Next nominees will answer a written questionnaire that will cover their reasons for wanting to serve and past experiences with law enforcement. And they will go through an interview with the council's rules confirmations public elections committee. This is the first time we've ever done this as a city. Um, I know for sure we're not going to make everybody in Davidson County happy with every single question. The final board will consist of seven members who represent community groups or were self nominated two people nominated by the Metro Council and two people recommended by Mayor David Briley. He nominated Phyllis Hildreth, an administrator at American Baptist College, and Bob Cooper, the former Tennessee Attorney General. Metro Council members will approve all 11 board members. After Jacques Clemens was shot and killed by a Metro Police officer last year, advocates called for a board to increase accountability and transparency. Clemens' mother is one of the nominees. Now city leaders are completing the final steps to make that board a reality. We're catching our breath uh, and we're going to get our work done and we're going to have this done by January 31st. Right now, the Metro Council is set to vote on all of the nominees on January 15th, but Vice Mayor Jim Shulman says they may need a special called meeting to address this issue. If you'd like to check out the full list of nominees, just log on to newschannel5.com. Reporting live at the historic Metro Courthouse, Emily Luxon, News Channel 5. That's a tight turnaround. Thank you, Emily.